Mr. Goffman, thank you for being here today. Um, as you know, the Clean Air Act requires counties with unsafe levels of pollution to take steps to come into attainment. Uh, in Arizona, um, you know, there are some significant air quality challenges that are unique to Arizona. For example, since 2017, Maricopa County has seen the number of days where air quality has been affected by wildfire smoke go up about 75%. And in Yuma County, and I was just in Yuma County last week, high winds often create these dust storms. Um, but the interesting thing here is frequently these dust storms start in Mexico or in California. Um, so the EPA needs to work for Arizona. So, Mr. Goffman, do you believe that the Clean Air Act intends to hold local governments accountable for air pollution created by exceptional events like wildfires or dust storms, which, by the way, in the case of Yuma, often occur in another state or even in another country? Um, well, I actually believe two things. One is um, uh, it's... Uh, not the intention of the Clean Air Act to hold uh, air districts accountable for events like that, but it's incumbent upon the EPA to work with air districts and states uh, to do what we can um, to really improve, improve air quality, um, even in or especially in the face of that particular set of problems. Uh, and I, I, I know that my colleagues in Region 9 are are working closely with um, uh, the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality uh, and with uh, local air quality managers to tackle uh, actually a host of problems that are facing Yuma and uh, Maricopa uh, County. Uh, and I think we're going to get there. Um, well, I agree. And I, I, I think we can get there as, as well. And I, I, I believe that if we want to make progress towards improving air quality, we've got to have some achievable benchmarks for these communities based on factors that are within their control. These dust storms and wildfires are you know, clearly outside of their control. Um, and I often hear from communities about this and the enormous difficulties that they face you know, when they have to demonstrate to EPA that an exceptional event uh, has occurred. Um, you mentioned EPA Region 9, um, which is the region that has Yuma County. And, you know, their office, the EPA uh, Region 9 office, has not yet concurred with demonstrations conducted to show that exceptional events are responsible for the county exceeding the, uh, the PM10 standard. Um, so why, why do you think that is? Mr. Goffman? Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly, exactly sure. I, my understanding is that's still a, a sort of work in, work in progress, but I will uh, absolutely look into it and, and get back to you. Do, you. do you think that communities can be expected to develop a compliance plan before EPA provides feedback to help the community understand what sources um, of emissions that they are not responsible for controlling? Uh, well, I think historically we've been open to both ways. Some air quality, some state air, environmental quality regulators do informally engage with us at the regional level, um, uh, seeking guidance early on. Some do throughout the process. And what our commitment is is to essentially, um, we, obviously, we have obligations to hold states accountable to for their their obligations of the mm -hmm. Clean Air Act, but. The definition of success is getting the air quality results um, that communities need. And it's often in partnership that uh, states and we are most effective. So if confirmed, are you, will, you, will you commit to ensuring that your team at EPA, at the headquarters, and the team at Region 9 are available to work with Yuma County to review exceptional event data and develop a compliance plan based on the factors that the community can control? Uh, absolutely, Senator. Well, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I could just go over by like 
one minute. I want to talk about Maricopa County for a second. Well, let me think about it. Okay. All right. Thank you. I understand that there were 38 days in 2021 where the county experienced unhealthy ozone levels due to smoke from wildfires. We've had some really bad wildfire seasons over the last couple of years. And under the exceptional event rule, the county believes they will need to conduct 38 exceptional event demonstrations for those 38 days. And as wildfire seasons in the West get worse, what steps will you take as assistant administrator to expedite the consideration of exceptional event demonstrations? Well, I, I, can, I will commit to you now, uh, Senator Kelly, um, and, to, and to Arizona, um, that as, as we enter what seems to be a new era in terms of the in intensity and frequency of wildfires, um, we will reflect in the way we process these, these, process these demonstrations, um, that, that new reality. All right. Thank you.